What's up guys, Pyromaniac720 here, and I have for you the last day of Jan Rodriguez's team thing that he is using, or wanted me to use. I don't know if he's using it at all. Um, but we're at 1637 with it. We're 4-4 four and four with it, so we're pretty average with it. I'm sure Jan would play it much better than I. This is not really my team, but what the heck, I give it a shot. Um, definitely not bringing it to Virginia. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who we find for our last opponent. Man, yesterday, that Roar Suicune was almost a problem. I can't believe we ended that. So that Snorlax must not be min speed. As we sit and play the waiting game. So, oh, we, or actually we just found someone. Danger Z JM from Peru with the 1700 rating. And a team of Milotic, Cartana, Tapu Koko, Charizard, Snorlax, and Gothitelle. Um, this feels like a Zapdos battle. You know? I'm actually going to lead Gardevoir Zapdos. Um, with Amoongus in the back in case they decide to set Trick Room. And I think Incineroar. Incineroar looks really good here too. As long as I don't activate the competitive. That would be bad. But he also has Charizard. Hopefully it's Y. So he can make that competitive boost, boost slightly less annoying. But... Neck has been killing me all day. All right, so we're facing. We're just gonna call him Danger. Danger D Z J M. My Lodic Coco. Tapu Lodic. Double Shiny. Double Hacker. Gardevoir Zapdos coming out for us. So Electric Surge is gonna come out. Did I bring stack on the back? I already forgot. No, I didn't. We trace competitive. Not useful. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to just hyper voice and we're going to tailwind. Um, I think we might see a double target in a Zapdos to prevent the Tailwind, when I, it, which made me want to Trick Room in Tailwind, but I didn't really want to risk. Oh boy. So I'm about to get Zed. Let's see if it's going to be Zapdos that gets Zed. I think it has to be Zapdos, because Zapdos don't typically carry Protect. Um, I almost went Trick Room and Tailwind, but I didn't want to risk him not getting any knockouts, because that could have been bad for me. If this goes into Gardevoir, I'm kind of screwed. Alright, good. I don't know what the Zapdos spread is, but it does not survive that. Oh, we're going to see a Scald, too. Oh, good. Hyper Voice goes first. That's good to know. Big damage. We're going to see an Ice Beam, so he must have been going for the double. We could have protected and been in good shape there. Um, but we are still in good shape, because we are going to switch in Amoongus here. Now, the reason we're in good shape is because we can just Rage Powder and Psy Shock. And that's what we're going to do. I think Coco's got to protect or maybe Volt Switch into something here. Because um, it can't really do much. Um, maybe he'll just stay in a Dazzling Gleam and just kind of take the... KO. If he does that, I'll protect and sludge bomb next turn. Wow, he's so he might. Hopefully, he's volt switching and not dazzling gleaming. There you go. He's gonna volt switch. See, maybe hyper voice would have been a good play there, um, just because I don't know what he has in the back that can really take a hyper voice. A Cartana won't. Charizard. And, uh, Snorlax. All right. Well, Snorlax can take a hyper voice. That's a good switch. But we're not hyper voicing. Ah, oh, 
no. We proc the berry. I'm guessing we're going to see an ice beam. Oh, citrus. <laughs> Alright. Don't, don't freeze. Alright, good. Alright. We're going to hyper voice. And we're going to just protect the Amoongus. That's our play right now. Because next turn, we're going to switch an Incineroar and protect Gardevoir. Woo! Oh, my Lodok's going to recover! Ooh. All right. I guess I'm okay with that. Let's Hyper Voice again, and let's switch in Incineroar. I almost feel like maybe Psy Shock would have been the better move there. Um, in this turn, maybe. Because I don't want to proc the berry this turn. We know it's not... Uh, Adrenaline Orb, so that's good. So again, we're just going to keep spamming Hyper Voice. Going to probably activate a berry here on Snorlax. Yep. So it's not banded, so that's good to know. Wow, that's annoying. Oh, of course he scalds this turn. Like, why? There's no way he predicted that. At least this return won't do too much because he's intimidated. That is unbelievable. <sighs> All right, we're going to Psy Shock the Milotic, Milotic, and we're going to Rage Powder. That is unbelievable. All right, we knocked out Milotic at least. And that doesn't do a lot. I wonder if he's Belly Drum. Tapu Coco is going to come back in, which is fine with me. I think we're going to see another Volt Switch here. So basically, worst case scenario for me is if Kartana's in the back and it's Sash. Because I can't win. Because I can't Rage Powder away its attacks. And I have only Sludge Bomb for an attack. So we're going to see a Dazzling Gleam. So he's just going to sack the Coco. That's also... That should proc Amoongus' Berry. We've used a lot of Hyper Voices this match. If Snulash is going to return, please don't crit, please don't crit. Nice. So that Intimidate coming in clutch. That Scald for him coming in much more clutch. Please don't be Kartana. Was it Kartana? Oh, it's probably going to be Charizard. Oh, it's Kartana. Literally nothing I can do about that. That's game. I guess I can protect and Sludge Bomb the Snorlax. Because I can't Rage Powder away its attacks. And I can't spore it. And I can't attack it. This <laughs> Snorlax just goes for another return. I can, I can hope that it's minimum speed with a power weight. That's my win condition right now. If only I had Sing. Or Hypnosis. I guess my win condition would have been to set Trick Room the turn before and like predicting Kartana was in the back. Critical hit, poison it. Uh, that was like my that was my one condition. But smart strikes gonna knock me out here. So we unfortunately lose. So we're four and five now with the team. 
We have one more battle with this team, and we'll be good. Um, the killer, like I said, was losing Incineroar on that switch. That was just ridiculous. I don't know why they were scalding. There's no way they would have predicted that after all those turns. Unbelievable. All right. Maybe they did. And if they did, kudos to them. But we're going to go into our last, last battle with Stack Attack on the roster. We do not want to save that video. That was bad. All right. We're currently sitting at 16.24. As we sit and play the waiting game. So my thoughts on this team, it's been pretty fun. Um, because like I said, I love spamming Hyper Voice. Maybe I'll like use a team that's just like mono hyper voice. Use like Gardevoir and Pyroar and Primarina and other things. Let me find a 1589 rated player from Japan. One second, guys. Thought I heard something. Anyway, um, this dude's got a weird team of Sceptile, Como O, Braviary, Kangaskhan, Tapu Lele, and Primarina. Um, I don't really know what that is, but we're going to lose to it, and it's going to be glorious. We're going to lead, we're going to lead Incineroar, Stack Attacka. We're going to have Fitty in the back for the, uh, we're going to have Gardevoir in the back. And we're going to have Fitty in the back too, what the heck. Just so that Como O doesn't cause us problems. I don't know what the Sceptile's doing. Maybe it's there for, like, Quick Guard. I'm guessing it's not Mega. I'm guessing the Kang's the Mega. And I'm guessing it's not Double Mega. Um, that Braviary's probably the Z-move. Um, or the Lele. Free Marina's there to probably Hyper Voice. Um, it also could just be there for a Swamp Mode. Maybe they lead the Sceptile and the Free Marina, set up a Swamp. And then... Let Como go first. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe it's like Psychic Seed Unburdened, so it's a really fast pledge. We're going to see Braviary Sceptile for my opponent. What did I lead? Did I lead Sack Attacko? I did. All right, good. So we're going to activate Defiant, um, which is fine. Sack Attacko doesn't care. I mean, yeah, Sack Attacker doesn't care about Bravier. We're just going to fake out the Sceptile. And we're just going to Trick Room. I don't really see a way that this backfires on us. I say that every time, but it always somehow is going to backfire on us. Um, Sceptile might Quick Guard, which is fine. Because I don't know what Bravier is going to do to us. I mean, maybe it's got Superpower. That would be really obnoxious. It is Mega Sceptile, so that's cool. I guess Sceptile is always a cool Pokemon to see. I love... So Sceptile is the only um, starter that I... Uh, it is Quick Guard. Mega Sceptile is the only starter I've ever consistently used in a game that's not the Fire Starter. If this is Super Power, I'm going to cry. Oh my god! God damn it! Why? I think we just lose. I don't know if I can stop this Braviary. Like, how sad is that? Ooh, Trace Defiant. I need to hope this is a really slow Braviary, honestly, at this point. Um... I'm going to knock it off and protect, I guess. Wow, we're going to go 4 and 6 with this team.
I apologize you guys had to watch a week of these battles. These were just bad. Um, this team is just not my style, and I'm not using it very well. And we keep running into Braviary, so, which are causing us lots of problems. And Quick Guard Subtiles. So Subtiles is going to switch into Primarina. I just... I mean, the nice thing we have going on for us right now is the Braviary is minus one. So, defense. So, hopefully this knockoff can do a lot of damage. Oh, it's going to Z-move. Please Z-move the Gardevoir. So, it's Supersonic Sky Strike, which means I should have Flare Blitzed. Because this knockoff is not going to do a lot of damage. It is Gardevoir, so at least be protected. Wow! Alright. If that's how little it did at minus one, I'm going to assume it's really bulky. And I'm going to just go for the Hyper Voice. And hope I outspeed it. It's gonna, I mean, we're about to get Hyper Voice back by this Primarina, but I need to outspeed this Braviary with the Hyper Voice right now. Come on. If I don't, we're screwed. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Please knock it out. Maybe I should have just... Whew! Alright, good. Alright, we crit. I don't know if the crit mattered, but... At least we're faster than it. Oh, the Premier is faster than us! Oh my god! Of course! And it's Life Orb. I want to knock off that Life Orb, too. Well, here comes Tapu Fini to the rescue. Alright. Um, the question is, do we have a win condition? We do. He needs to not attack Gardevoir. Or no, he needs to double into Gardevoir as I Moonblast this Sceptile. And protect Gardevoir. It, maybe he'll swamp into Gardevoir. Or pledge into Gardevoir. Which actually would still be bad. Ah, damn it. Because then I'll, the swamp will still be up, I think. I don't remember I don't remember pledge mechanics. I don't know if the swamp still goes up. I guess it all depends on what he has in the back. But he's not going to protect at all. Well, maybe Premier will protect. I don't know. Pledge, pledge, into Gardevoir. Does the swamp appear? Doesn't say. Alright, so we got a knockout there. I think it would tell you that a swamp formed. Which is always my issue with uh, Pokemon Showdown, because I always forget the swamp forms, and I'm like, why did that just happen? Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Alright, let's figure out what this Gardevoir speed is. Hmm. That's kind of fast. Alright. What the heck? Let's go for it. We're going to Hydro Vortex the Lele, and we're going to hope we outspeed and can Psy Shock this Primarina. Psy Shock should definitely knock it out in Psychic Terrain. Oh, the Primarina protected. Oh, I didn't even think of that. And we were faster. Oh. Send that into... Ah, damn. Wow. If we'd Hyper Voiced, we could have won that. Hmm. Well, we need this to knock out. That's our only chance at this point, and I don't think it will. Because this is clearly a slower Tapu Lele. Ah! Oh, it's Barry. Of course it is. Alright. I need some Muddy Water Drops. That's my win condition right now. Yeah, so if we had, um... 
If we Hyper Boys there, I think we win. That Psychic's gonna do so much. I need I need a double drop. That's my only chance. Is that current lately? Oh, or no drops. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this week of Stack Attacka um, and Gardevoir. I guess Gardevoir is kind of a cool feature too, so that doesn't... I mean, it's seen it's enough usage, but it's not like super popular. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. And stay tuned for next week's new team. Till next time, guys.